So for those of you just joining, I'm Nicole De Cristofaro. I'm a spiritual counselor, an intuitive energy healer, an educator. Some call me an alchemist for your soul. I do these weekly shows, bringing other light workers on with me. Um, this is broadcast mainly from the Project Positive Change web uh, Facebook page. So I have a lot of amazing fellow Project Positive Change visionaries and members that I like to bring on because we're all doing such unique, amazing things in the world, shining our light, inspiring others, uh, being of support and guidance for others. And so if you're looking for a little inspiration, a little guidance, a little insight into what's possible for you in your spiritual awakening or just living a more full, joyous life in alignment with your soul's purpose, this is the perfect space for you, so welcome. My guest today is Jacqueline, and Jacqueline, I did not ask you how to pronounce your last name, so I apologize for that. Um, but Jacqueline is a divine frequency expert, and I'm excited to talk to her and get to know her a bit, and we'll be having, I'm sure, an interesting conversation, so let's get her on. And Joy, or anyone watching, if you have any questions about anything related to your intuition, um, really a meditation, anything in this area that we're going to be discussing today, I, we'd be happy to answer your questions. So one thing that um, I've been experiencing lately, I'm doing um, this really cool work in uh, my school, my academy, where I'm learning to do entrainment with a panel of people. So doing a group healing. And you really have to set this up very carefully. Um, we So there's no merging of energies with one another. And that's the one thing, um, I know there's a lot of group healing being done out there and people come together and do group healing. And the one thing that's fascinating to me is that, and I didn't learn this before, um, you really have to make sure you don't merge your energy with others. And what that means is, so we have an auric field around us, right? We have an energy body, an energy skin, and it's porous, so we can absorb things. And a lot of empaths, for example, feel the energy, right? You have that body radar, you can pick up energy in the room, you can pick up energy for others. Um, uh, so, oh, Jacqueline, you have to join from your phone. <laughs> if you're watching, Jacqueline, you can't join from a laptop, you have to join from your phone. I'm sorry if there was any miscommunication, but you can only join phone from, from you can only do this with phones, so mobile devices, okay? So if you're watching, please um, don't go to a laptop. Go to, be on your phone. If you weren't on your phone, that could be why we were having that problem. So get your phone ready, and I'll be able to add you. I'm sure that'll work out. So, um, and let me know when you're ready, and then I'll add you. So, um, when we merge with other people's energy, our energy then is not our own. We've now diluted it and compromised the integrity of our own energetic field, our auric field. And it's not that, you know, it's okay to have intimacy with others, be close to others. You don't want to like have this thing where you're like, I can't be close to you, I don't want to merge. It's more about protecting your boundary, your auric boundary. So something I teach my students is how to set up an energetic boundary so that it's grounded and it's protecting all of you so that your energy isn't leaking out, you're not absorbing other people's energy. And when you do healing, you know, when I do my healing work, I make sure I don't merge with the other person. I either use an intermediary like a healing guide to act as a go-between or you know I maintain the integrity 
of the energetic boundary and asked my um, whoever I'm working with to do the same and then we're um, we're able to facilitate a healing and and I'm remember I'm not healing anyone I'm facil I'm just a facilitator of healing and then I can um, detect if there's been any um, merging and then neutrally se separate so okay all right Jacqueline no nope, I don't see you there so did you hear me when I said you have to join from a phone not a laptop so you can't do this with laptops it has to be on a phone so I don't know if you heard me but um, when you're on your mobile device this is how we do it so hopefully you can get your phone set up and we can do that I don't know if you had tried that before but you said I'm gonna try a different laptop so I was a little concerned okay so mobile device Jacqueline um, my mom, uh, Joy has a comment. My mom lives in a retirement building and the constant energy is intense and exhausting at times. Yes. Okay, Joy. Yes, exactly. I've been in de places that can be really intense and a lot of people go to their work, right? And there's like lots of intense energy or it feels maybe not in high vibe where you are. So if you, Joy, can even visualize you have a beautiful boundary around you some people use like a dome they use trees they use something but you know set the intention that's impenetrable so nothing's gonna come in and none of you is gonna leak out and make sure that's fully grounded now I teach a lot about that in some of my courses so if that's something you're interested in please reach out I have a mini course that you can take just as a little um, sample and see how you like it and then move on to other courses but my students have said amazing things about learning neutral separations and energetic boundaries so I definitely suggest that for you Joy it sounds like you're clairsentient empathic there you are <laughs> wow <laughs> So that was an interesting process, and now it's really distorted as well. I uh, you look a, yeah you look a little, a little, but not too it bad. It's totally, well, totally maybe, distorted on my end. Oh, now it looks better. <laughs> I think once you get it set, it'll stop trying to focus in. It'll and, try to focus it in. Yeah, there you go. It okay, looks, is that better? Great. Yeah, okay, cool. you look great. <laughs> I love the blue, well, the aqua blue my color. Apologies. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I apologize for the uh, mix up because this, yeah, anyway, we're here no now. No worries. Technology we're here now. Wonderful. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Jacqueline. Thank you. And, thank you. And how do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> yeah, it's very simple. It's Gertz. Gertz. Okay. G awesome. Gertz. Just like G G E R T S. Gertz. Gertz. Oh, Gertz. Okay. Gotcha. Super and simple. Yeah. Shelly says, Hi, Jacqueline. You look beautiful. Aw. Oh, yeah. thank you, Shelly. No. So Jacqueline, <laughs> you are a divine frequency ep expert. I love to know more about that, as I'm sure some of the viewers were, were, would. What is that? What is that? Divine. And... So for me, it's like all you have to do is tune into that divine frequency, that frequency, because everything is just energy. So it's mm -hmm. that frequency that tunes you into your intuition, to the divine, to the magic of the universe, because I love the magic of the universe. And it's, it's just a matter of tuning in. It's getting rid of the noise and the static and tuning into that divine frequency so you can really live your passion and purpose and use the, use the magic that is available to all of us. And how did you come, like, how did you find this or <laughs> learn about it? Like, what was your journey like? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Thank you. Um, you know, I, first of all, I was always that weird kid in, in junior high that was doing, you know, palm ratings and Ouija boards <laughs> and things like that, right? So it was like, there was always something there, right? Um, but it really, really came to the forefront when, um, I was 34 years old and I was living in Germany with two small children and my husband suddenly passed away of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And at that point I was like, okay, now what do I do? Right? What, what do I do? Where do I go? 
And I knew I could go anywhere I wanted to in the world at that point. And so I started thinking about, okay, where do I want to be? I, I, I don't want to be in Germany without him. So where do I want to be? And I imagine this, I was sitting um, on the floor in my living room. The kids are sleeping upstairs. It's about midnight. I've got this atlas out on in front of me because, you know, that was before internet, right? <laughs> so I've got this atlas out in front of me and I'm, I'm searching, okay, where do I want to go? Average rainfall, sunshine, all of that. And finally I said, you know what? I don't know. God, you're going to have to tell me. I don't know. And I went to bed. And about three o'clock in the morning, I heard this bell. It was like a little school bell kind of thing. Ding, 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 ding. And I heard Jacksonville, Florida. And I woke up and I thought, Jacksonville, Florida. Is there such a place? <laughs> I'd never heard of it, right? But my mother used to call me Jackson when I was little. And I thought, well, maybe it's got something to do with that. What is that, right? And so the next morning I got up and I looked at the atlas and sure enough, there's a Jacksonville, Florida. I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's where I'm supposed to go. Long story short, I ended up going to Orlando, met someone who was from Jacksonville, who then told me about a different place where I ended up moving to, building a home, meeting my, my now husband, and, you know, as I say, the rest is history. But that's where I really tuned into, ah, there's something else. How yeah. do I create this? How do I tap into that on a regular basis? There's something there that, that is no, all-knowing and powerful. And that's yeah. where it started, where I started doing it intentionally. <laughs> that's when you, yeah, when you're like, oh, that happened. That seemed to work very well for me. So yeah. how do I create that? Well, by the way, exactly. where I'm in Florida. So where are you? I'm in a place called Deland, Florida, just between oh. Daytona and Orlando. Oh, okay. I live in Treasure Island, St. Petersburg area. So. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah oh, awesome. How about that? Yeah, beautiful sunshine awesome. state. <laughs> Susie joined. Hi, Susie. Welcome. We're learning about how um, Jacqueline came to be a divine frequency expert. So uh, you, you might have missed that. So you might want to catch the replay. But so, so once you started like, you know, what, what then happened? What, what transpired? Did you take classes? Did you investigate more? Did you just go within more? Like what, what was the progress? Right. Yeah. It's interesting because I think everybody has their own process and their own yeah. journey. Right. Uh, and so for me, it, it was starting to, it was going back to the things that I'd known as a child and recognizing that, Oh, other people know this too. There are books on this stuff. Right? This is like this huge light when I was like, oh, my God, there are books. There are things you can learn, I, you know, because I thought, I thought I was all by myself on this thing, right? Um, and so then I did. I started reading everything I could get my hands on, and I worked with other coaches and mentors and just slowly started getting different certificates. And, you know, I'm a Reiki master, a chronic healer, um, life coach, infinite possibility trainer, right? All of those things just continually added until I finally got to the point I was like, huh. I could help other people, right? And so, he, so here's really what it came down to. You know, one of the most prominent scientists of our time, Albert Einstein, said this. He said there are only two ways to live your life. One is as if nothing is, as if nothing is a miracle. And the other is as, as yeah, I can't even talk this morning, is as if everything is a miracle, right? Yes. So for me, it's like, how do I teach people to live as if everything is a miracle? Mm. How do I show them that there are unseen forces just awaiting their command? Yeah. How do I get that magic to, in their hands in an everyday kind of way? And that's why I just continued to learn and practice and create and and, and that's what I do because I, I love the magic. <laughs> I know. And I love, I always, that's, Albert Einstein has some of my most favorite quotes and right. one, one thing, I, I mean, I would, he'd be one of those, you know, when they ask you, who would you like to sit down and have coffee with or dinner with? He's yeah. definitely Albert yeah. Einstein. I think yeah. I would be, right. I would be like, let's talk for a week. <laughs> um, one night wouldn't be enough. But what, um, so when you said that though, one thing that I know I found for myself, and this is, I too try to help others is when we don't see the miracle in every moment, we're disconnected. Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that's when we stop mm -hmm. that connection to divine yeah. frequency, energy flow, whatever yeah. you want to call it, God, 
And it's yeah. when we're living with the um, pain, when we're living in the past or too far in the future, we're disconnected from what's now in the present. So I love that you shared yeah. that because that's definitely in alignment with what what I've discovered myself. And I used to be yeah. someone that was constantly like, it, I, I, I would be probably 80% in the future. I didn't really relive the past a lot, but so much like worrying yeah. about everything that's going to happen or what right. I need to do. Right. And it was like constantly right. it was causing me so much stress and overwhelm and, and exhaustion, you know, to be in that state yeah. and, and through meditation and through yoga, you know, being in the present moment, it was a chore. It's hard. It, it you know, it's hard at first to retrain our brain. So was that something yeah. that you like, what, how did you discover to be more in witnessing the miracle, being in the present moment, like what what methods did you find help you do that? So that's a really good question because I am your I'm not your typical person that meditates or yoga. I do everything. I do I do meditate and I do practice yoga. None of it is consistent. <laughs> yeah. So right. So it's like yeah, that that there's that, but there's also the thing that helped me most. I think when I was really delving into this was I got a couple of decks of angel cards, and I was doing angel card readings every day, mm -hmm. multiple times a day. And that for me was a great tool to know that there's there's something else that I can tune into. So that would bring my focus to tuning in. Yes. Uh, to be able to listen and to be able to, to really grasp what was happening because there I could see that, Oh, this really works. Right. Yes. And then I would begin to experiment. And the, the, the biggest thing that I found uh, is when you start to experiment and you get the results and you go, Oh my God, this actually works. Yeah. Right? When you ask for you ask for an answer, right. and you get it. It's right. Like, no, yeah. this really works. Right? And that's what builds trust and confidence. And you gotta exactly. keep practicing just like anything. Like if you were gonna, yeah. you know, start working out, you can't just do it sporadically. Mm -hmm. You have to do it every day to feel better and to feel like the change yeah. and the metamorphosis happening. I just wanted to interrupt real fast. Joy says, I had to leave to take my mom to an appointment, hoping I can watch the replay. I need this, especially today. Love and light to all. Aww. Aww, love and light to Aww, you, Joy. Much, much love and light, yeah. Joy. And Susan, my good buddy Susan in Canada is on. Hi, Susan. Love you. We're having a great hey, conversation Susan. here. So, so once you started doing the angel card readings every day and, and really finding the consistency, tapping in, getting the messages, then one that, like, how did you turn this learning and discovery into a passion, a career, and what you now do, right? And this is what you do. Yeah, this is what, what I now do. Yes, um, yes. It, Yeah, so, you know, there, there's pivotal points in everyone's life, right, where you find yourself at the bottom, the bottom of the barrel or the bottom of whatever, the pit, whatever The it pit, is. yeah, the hole is just right? what I call it, right? yeah. Where yeah. <laughs> am I? Like, <laughs> right how did I get here right yes and and that happened for me um where I I found myself living in this actually really horrible little cottage in Florida with no AC the middle of summer oh I had can't even imagine yeah, I had no yeah it was just horrendous the humidity and everything and I, I had no vehicle I I didn't have a job all of my family had moved to a different place for work and I was the one that was left in this little cottage and I'm sitting there going wait wait how did this happen <laughs> right and so as I'm laying there on my bed and there's a ceiling fan and I'm you know struggling to really visualize this is an ocean breeze this is an ocean breeze I'm laying on the beach right right I'm 10 right? degrees I'm cooler I'm 10 degrees right? cooler. <laughs> yeah. yeah and at some point it's like how did I get here? How did this happen? How did this happen? And it was, it was at that point that I recognized that, well, I have been so busy doing everything for everybody else, creating everybody else's dreams that I'd completely forgotten about, well, who am I and what do I want? Right? Can you relate? <laughs> I took a deep breath. Right? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was at that point that I thought, okay, wait, I have tools. I know how this works. Let me do it for myself. 
because I really had, I'd created all kinds of things with, I'd co-created with other people, right? Right. Um, and so then that's when I got certified as a life coach. And it was shortly thereafter that I manifested the infinite possibilities trainer. Cause I was like in the first or the second training that they ever did. Wow. Um, and, and so that was, those were tools that I had, okay, I'm a certified life coach now. And I have a program that I can teach the infinite possibility program. And that was really what gave me the wings to create a business around that. And from there, it was a matter of, trying things out, working with people, what worked for some people, what worked for me. And I was constantly creating new ideas and new ways of doing things. And I, you know, I, I read everything. So it was just, it was just, I would just kind of collect things and like, okay, mm -hmm. let's use this one. Let's use that one. Yeah. Here's what I have found when we were talking about the meditating and the yoga. Yeah. The classic yoga, the classic meditation doesn't work for everybody. And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. It can be a walk in nature. And it's still a meditation, right? Some people yes. connect really well in the shower. Water is a great conduit, right? So I think it's important that people recognize that you pick what works for you. This is what worked for me, the, the cards. And then I started, and then I got into the crystals and pendulums and all of the little tools that you can use. But the biggest thing is recognizing how you get your messages. There's four clairs, clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, claircognizant. And when people understand how they get their message, how they tune into that divine frequency, then they get to decide what, what is their way to do it. Exactly. Right? Totally. So it's not just one, one size fits all. Oh yeah. That's the, that's like where I start with all of my students is like, let's take an intuitive abilities assessment yes. because no one knows like they, like for me, I expected my intuition to talk very loudly to me. And, yeah. and so I was always frustrated and I was like, why? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like people who, you know, talk to God, the angels, whoever they're expecting right. this voice to speak back. And so yeah. what, what I discovered and I worked with, you know, advisors and mentors and all everything that I'm highly clear sentient. So everything that mm -hmm. I was getting messages was more about the feeling, the clear feeling. Yeah. And then, but the great thing was, once I kind of opened up the channels, all my other senses, and this is something too mm -hmm. that I teach is like, let's practice on this because like your psychometric is connected to your clairvoyance. So the more you use your hand psychometrically to sense the energy yes. or to measure energy, you're opening up that channel. And it's amazing that, um, you know, we don't, like there's not a lot of information about that out there. So you kind of, you know, like you, I, yeah. I did the same. I kind of had to find all this, you know, piece it all together and really understand it because it wasn't, yeah. it, I was, I had different expectations. And I think that's what right. a lot of people struggle with is they're expecting like to read cards and hear something or get images or yeah. whatever. And maybe that's not um, opened up for them yet. So yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. That, that, mm -hmm. that is a really, really good point. Like I used to think, like I used to have this feeling of um, there was a door and I could hear all these voices on the other side of the door, but they were muffled. So it's like, there's a party going on over there and I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's like, you know, like you say, you're clairsentient and, and so am I and also uh, clairvoyant. I, I get messages that, mm -hmm. you know, I can literally read across. Yep. So it's just, like you say, you have, they have to experiment. But the beauty of it is, is that anybody can do it. Yes. Once they, yes. Once they understand they have that possibility, yeah. anybody can do it. And Shelly says, this is why I love our path. We are all on the same path, but some are two steps ahead. And somehow we just always catch up and move forward. Since I have been on the spiritual journey, I have never yet felt lost. Oh, beautiful. Aww. Yeah. That's Shelly, awesome. Shelly's Beautiful. awesome. She, she's been in one of my courses. So I've, I've seen her build her confidence Aww. and like kind of Aww. reignite all her amazing gifts and talents. Cause she is very um, high, you know, just you are a spiritual soul sister, Shelly. So I'm so honored that it. our paths cross. So yes, I, yeah, I, it is like, we all have, I feel we all have these gifts and a lot of people like I doubted my, that I thought it was all these other people. Oh, they have that. Right. And I don't. Yeah. And 
Yeah. It's just really reconnecting, like connecting with ourselves as a spirit, really it is. Um, and sensing that frequency too. Like, you know, you do the divine frequency. Um, yeah. I sense now my soul, my spirit as a frequency so I can easily go, oh, there I am. Like if I feel yeah. disconnected, right? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. That's the beauty yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah that's that so divine beautiful. frequency. And there's a lot of tools. I mean, you know, there's not only are there exercises and things like that, but even like there's crystals that really, that, you mm -hmm. know, once you tune into that energy, you feel that energy and that you can, you can feel how it shifts yeah. things for you. You know, so there's a lot yeah, of different, so different ways to do it. There's yeah, so much fun. to learn and fun. discover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. you have, you mentioned that you have a, um, an experience that you're offering for people. I posted your yeah. um, website. Tell us a little bit about what this is. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So the, the place that I love for people to start is manifesting. What do, what do you want to create? Manifesting is just co-creating. Right. Instead of reacting, let's respond and let's be a co-creator. Let's really create what we want. Right. And yeah. so on my website, um, there's a manifesting 101 guide. And it's really just the basic steps of how do you manifest? How, how does that work? Where do, where mm -hmm. do you actually start? Because a lot of times, you know, people will tell you, oh, well, you know, you, you, you're a co-creator. You can be, you know, deliberate creation and all of this. But it's like, well, what do you do? What, what are the steps? What do you actually yeah. do? to make that happen. So that's what the Manifesting 101 guide is. And it is available on my website that they can download. I just, it's, yeah. it's just a nice little thing. It pops up. Anybody who clicks on our website, you'll get a pop-up yes. that says, get my free gift. It's Manifesting 101. I'm excited. Um, I love I love your header picture there with you. That's beautiful on your website. Oh, thank you. Um, so, thank you. So that's the start on how people can get an experience of you. And then yeah. um, just to give, to share all that you are and all your brilliance, oh, what, thank you. how, what else is um, available for people wanting to learn, you know, more about yeah. connecting? What, what do you offer? Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate that. So I actually just opened up a few more spots uh, at, at, for private clients as well. So I work with private clients one-on-one. -on -one. I also do workshops and retreats. Um, all of that is available. You can book an, a complimentary awakening session with me. That's also right there on that, on that page. Uh, and that's a 30 minute complimentary session where we just kind of get to know, is it a good fit? Is it not? And you will receive some sort of energetic tool to help you on your path, regardless mm -hmm. if we work together or not, but you will receive yeah. some, some value in that. Um, and the other thing that we just launched is a, our first membership program is called wildly magical. And this is something we're super excited about because there's training. There's a, there's a private Facebook group, and so there's training on how to engage the magic. And then if you choose, um, there's a monthly box of magic tools that is actually sh sent to your home. So based wow, on the, the training. So cool. I know, right? It's so cool. That. We're so excited. Yeah. So people are loving that. Our members were called, the members are called dragon seers because, you know, dragons are kind of like magic. You got to believe it yeah. in order to see it. Um, but it's really cool because the, the box, every month there's a different box of magic tools and the trainings are around the theme of the month. So that's the other thing that we're really excited about. And that's at wildlymagical.com. It's also on the Jacqueline Gertz page. Yeah, I just clicked on that, on that to see. That's super cool. How, how yeah. oh, that's so, so we're fun. excited. So excited, Super excited for you, you. Jacqueline. And Thank here's you. so so you do that with Karina, and her last name is very similar to yours. Well, her, her, that's my daughter. It's my daughter. Oh, okay. And, and so she spells her name the German way. The German way is with the O with the umlaut on okay. it because obviously she was born in Germany. Uh, so oh. she has the German spelling, and I have the American spelling. So, oh, so uh, but you yeah, it's a, it's another daughter. daughter project. Oh, I love that. Aww, yeah. That's, and then my granddaughter cool. is the little fairy that uh, we're very soon we're going to be offering a kid's version of it. And my granddaughter Aww. will be helping with that. Oh, I so, love yeah. that. Awesome. Thank Yay. you. We did too. It's so fun. <laughs> that's so cool. So cool. Well, I'm so excited that you we figured out the tech stuff and you were able to join. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I always go with the flow. And, and every single live, I feel like there's always some tech thing. And I expect it and just, you know, go with yeah. it and it all works itself out. So we, we got part, you. Part of it is, part of it is the high energy. I find every yep. single time I'm with energy workers, it's like the technology is like, nope, 
let's play with it. It's funny so it's that kind of someone crazy. else, I think it was, I don't remember who, oh, the, my last guest, she, yeah, she said the same thing. And I'm like, you know, I never thought about us. It was our yeah. energy. I just thought it was just, you know, yeah. tech stuff. And, I think and, it's, yeah. yeah, I think it's us. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, thank you again for staying thank patient so and working much. with this and sharing thank all you. of what you experienced in your life and the journey to get you to become a divine frequency expert. It's really exciting. And Everyone Thank watching, you. please click on the link. Um, if you want the Manifesting 101 guide, it's free. And then you'll probably be on Jacqueline's list where you get to experience all kinds Absolutely. of other things. Yep. And then she has that amazing, wildly magical um, monthly subscription where you get a magic box sent to you every month. That's oh, my so God. Fun. I am like, I might join that. <laughs> That sounds, love to have you. that sounds fun for me. Yeah, I love. Well, I like yeah, it. I like getting stuff in the mail, especially yes, cool. Well, especially cool know, stuff right? that I can use for like my practice. That would be awesome. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, that that would be awesome. And thank yes. you for the work you do. I I'm oh, really excited about what you're pleasure. up to in the world, and I'm yeah i, I really pleasure. love what you're about so well, thank you yo my pleasure we're all joining together to shine mm -hmm. our light and mm -hmm. and help yes. support each other and honor each other yes. and i this is what this is all about so i appreciate much Absolutely. gratitude for all all of you and all the other light workers and project positive change and for those watching wherever you're watching from because i share this on various pages um, like Beautiful. the project project positive change um, page mm -hmm. because you'll get to meet other people who are doing amazing things in the world. Jacqueline and I are just one of thousands, and um, yeah. and you'll get um, lots of cool cool stuff on there. So Debbie, yeah, hi Debbie, awesome. you watched at the end, so hopefully you can catch the replay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye everybody. Yeah. Have an amazing right. magical day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Jacqueline. Bye. Bye.